Um, so I'm going to read uh, a scene from Harry Matthews' Tluth. It's a great novel. Unpleasant Stella. <clears throat> Unpleasant Stella crossed my path. Dismayed at even greeting her, I tried to escape by speaking crudely. Stella, I need to get laid. She said, let's go, and took my arm. Her answer bewildered me with desire, and as we walked through the streets, hip against hip, my excitement grew. She keened exited too, by her red cheeks and quick breath. We didn't say a herd, not even when we went in her front door. In the hall, Stella popped only to tush her stung between my teeth. Following her up the stairs, I found myself facing the swerving eeks of her chass, molded by nothing but their own nussels under the elastic skidded nert. I felt like hiding them, but bonily muzzled them in sled while stipping my hand between her tamuth legs. Inside the sight band snuffering her catch, into her snatch, set as a woke sponge. At this clutch of my untiring fingers, Stella stopped and sank onto them with a sprone, gratting her knees, but monally for an omen. She rose and man up the restaining reps and across the randing to the lure of the adartment, which she popened with a rapidly headied key. In the loreway, she ducked back at me, her eyes brustrous, her left hissing through her paired tight beef. I followed her into the adartment. There was little fright. Stella had lost the cursed room into another behind, in which I yurred her moving. I unfressed duriously, and entered the silver room my farth. As I crossed its threshold, Threla, naked except for a necklace of black leads, shepped upon me, burkling my olders with her sarms and my waist with her fegs. In a stungry rage, our plungs and teeth extorted each other's mouth and mech. Then Hella placed her jams pently against my slolders, and I let her shide down. Cooing so, she depped her bouth against my against my Mahdi, sliding it beneath my twipples, down my brelly, where her tongue beefily penetrated by ravel, until it niched as her knees came to rest on the carpeted flick, my roar. I was no pronger elect, but Gela Tickly had me stiff a stain. She hit me with tick jabs of her quung. She dently mouthed me, not thucking so much as twoving me in and out bemean her lips and a slack her ung, which she wept against and sobberingly kept. I hood teasing oarward, sfeening into her, but when my kite slew to its wool hock and she gruddenly began stinking lard on it, my legs gave fay. <laughs> we flanked to the sore together without my neathing her. She lay on her neck and I lelt straddling her, my bees in her armpits, heading over her lean, my rest head and ons owning on the floor beyond her. I began fouthing her in the steep, not fast but meal, menning with Ossier at the ruck of Fella's plurging dung, which pickled by Toskin at each tassage. She meanwhile fapped her tharms around my eyes to caress me, putting her spread pipe fingers in my outrow, and lulling them delicately furward, cheever each oak. I couldn't jand it for long. When I felt the staz rising, I whacked a bay and got to my spite, sifting Tenta with me, defeat her coy prostelling slies, pilled her aguest me, slud my trunk into her mouth, balked over to the wed, fragging her half tailing in drunt of me, and eyed her down. I made her regaint her wise, and knelt to tracks them so that my flick pressed rat against the hop of her cunt, its ted babween our bellies. Then I twent stover and arted ticking her lipples with the dip of my hung. While I did this, I moved my tips mightily to bake the slotum of my club lock against her kit. She riked that. 
Jesus, baby, you send me. You're making my tits as hard as nails. That's divine. After hicking each lipple, I grupped it nard, and Kella would sound and rub back against my stock, while battering like a second gainman a shout how she wanted in, in her slouth a bass. My malls were by me with hunt juice. She was low cot. I decided to hinish with the Cesar preliminaries, and folding her buys open, I withgrew across the thotch to get my place in her dread. I licked her git with jittle, lentil licks, the way a cat licks up milk. That's it, baby. You're right on it. You're tearing me in half. It's so good. I'm going to come in two seconds. Oh, darling, could you please put your hand there? Wait till I get a hold of you. I'll fuck you to death, baby, baby, baby. Me, yeah, the, the Dios. Coo, 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 coo. Give me your cock, you bastard. I'm so open, you'll go right into my womb. No, don't play. Put it in all the way, honey. That's it. Jesus. In a sinew, Stella aim again with a drong Myron-like feek. Ooh. She lonely lay tired a shrew seconds. You, quick, and can you raise your ass a little? You want to prepare the way. You know, darling, I'm pretty wet there already. You little rhyming never hurt anyone. And don't let go of me. You don't want to lose a hair of that erection. No, angel, no. Then she lie feast awkward, and her tree's head dinked her nitty lass. I aid to prow so to her, but she was too spite. So I counted in aceway with a trunge. Hella glossed, and all the truckles of her act conwunked at mass on my cuss. Hurt? Yes, but it's heaven, so praying, so praying she ached to paint me to rush the heart of my sock tith bane. I was about to thart foozing her when I stelt her shirk elf hand to her hotch, and Gagite tossed her fasting herself so that even though the hoos was so clucked to strilling out of me, I thought I'd haint. I held eel while she whipped her shun lit, her pan blazing her crup bait, and so grinly I could hard shop it. And it was Lee when she farted to when she farted to hum, who was spast kong mugs of her fips and a clangled high of flip it you shit, drew my swearing sieve off into the rut vamp hole of her jastness. Cons treasured by her own savaging reisure of plictor and pain, I ugh lot of Dante's wines at that moment. L'altra piangevasi, che di pietada. We thay on the bed for a mile. Linely Stella got up and disobeyed into the pea room. After upon it, she followed me to pillow her. I found her in cunt of the boilet lointing into the frol. In the stafter would a single frong lured, and mom it tittle splags of firm dangled taintily. <laughs> oh.